Now I'm going to show you how to run your XLT script on your XML file. First in Oxygen, make sure you have open your XML records and <clears throat> all of your scripts that you wish to run on. So for this example, I'm going to use the uh, week five records XML, which is in Canvas, as well as the YBP QC for Excel and XML to Excel. Get those open in Oxygen. And then make sure you are in the mark or the week five records and you have your other two XSL files open and then you go up here through or uh, wrench and then you're going to set up a new configuration go to new XML transformation with T and then you can name it if you want I usually name it by the name of the XSL file Y P Q C for Excel. Uh, you want the current file selected. If you make any changes, make sure you click on this little arrow and then go up to the actual week five records XML just to make sure you're running the script on the most current XML file. And then you want to choose your XL file, which in this case is the YBP. And then for any of the XSLT scripts you run, you absolutely need to use the Saxon PE processor. So make sure you select that. And then you can select output. <clears throat> so you pick whatever file you want to save it in. I'm going to just name it week 5 result. And make sure you give it the XML extension. And then click save or hit enter. And then you're going to want to open the result in the editor to make sure it ran properly. And then you want to view it as XML. And you can click OK. Apply associated. We'll run that, that uh, XSLT file. You wait a second and then you get a result. After you get the result, we are going to run this XML to Excel. That will format it, uh, format these rows and columns into an Excel sheet. Go back up to your wrench, go to new, XML transformation with XLT, rename it. Just going to name this one XML. And so you have your week five result. And then select XML to Excel since that's what we're running. Again, change the process. Go over to output. And Save it. I will name it week five result for Excel. And remember once again to add the XML extension and hit enter or click save. And this time I'm not going to personally open it in the editor, but you can. This doesn't change the result. You can view it for own purposes. Uh, but make sure you you have XML selected, click OK, apply associated, and then nothing's going to pop up over here since we didn't uh, want it to open in the editor. Now we're going to want to open um, Excel. I'm going to get that open. And then you can open up that last result. navigate to that within um, Excel. And then your result opens up and you have it in nice, easy to read uh, format. Your rows and columns from before. So you remember the first row was, um, it was basically the batch name. And then there's the flag for the record telling you what Check. And then uh, this is just OCLC number, the title, and then uh, the problem with it. And that is how you run scripts in Oxford.